So why breath work? Why conscious connected breathing? Well, let me tell you a story. When my father died and I was three years and a half, did I understand what is death? Did I know? Can a child at this age understand all this situation, what, uh, what, what bring the grief in a home, a sudden death? No, I didn't understand, but I felt. I felt the absence of my father. I felt the sadness of my home. I felt the, the confusion of my mother. So where all that goes? When we are under 10, many of things that happen in our life, we don't understand it. We don't have the possibility to dive into the abstract thing of life. So even though we had the best parent of the world, there are things that happen in our life, in the school, playing with friends that give us a sensation, a feeling, a sentiment that we could not define, that we could not understand. We could not let in and let go because many times even we don't know how to name it. So we keep it in. We keep it in and this is what I call the emotional cysts. Then we arrive to our preteen age and teen age and we start we start like formulating the defense mechanism around us. Of course, as children also we have them, but as children, our energy is more open to absorb, to imitate, to, to get from others. By the teenage, when we start strengthening the defense mechanism, but already those uh, emotional cysts are inside. And we develop more of them during teenage, don't we? And then we arrive to our early youth, the 20s, ay, ay, ay. By then, many of us, we think we know about good and bad. We already have so many accumulation in, plus all the interest that these accumulation have gained through the years. And then like that, we, we develop, we grow, and then we have an accumulation of negative perception, negative thinking, negative belief, confusion. Um, and this accumulation in some moment will make a boom, boom. That boom can come as a, as a nervousness can come at the beginning. For some of us, the first signs are maybe lack of sleep, maybe some little accident, maybe not being able to remember thing, or for some, it will come in more of an anxiety attack, a panic attack. So this is the moment to go for asking for support. Whenever you ask for support, make sure that you ask for a support that include the energetic work in it. And this is what happened with Conscious Connected Breathing. That is a support in mentoring and also is all the energy that you're gonna work in. Meaning that you're not only gonna work with conceptual and mental or emo and emotional of what's happening to you, you're gonna work in the somatic part, those what get the print inside, inside of your system, inside of your body, that take you and remind you of the unsatisfaction of life or the fear of life or the non-trust of life. So, but what happened for many people that when these first signature signs come, instead of asking for help and the proper help, they get distracted. Maybe they, maybe they change job. Maybe they go in a holiday. Maybe they buy a new car. Maybe they move houses. Maybe they'll have an affair. Maybe they will increase because as the stress is kicking in more, the addictive behavior will also expand a little bit more. So maybe that person will have a beer after work, but now is having three or four beers after work. Is 
In situation of stress is when the consumer habit that we have, it will kick in for more and more. So they try to manage that situation that need attention they it need the energetic attention, the therapeutic attention, it get hidden or deviated with other action. What's gonna happen? That's gonna create more stress in the system. And after one month, one year or two, it's gonna be another boom. And another boom, and another boom. And this is how many, many people live. And the idea is not to expose yourself to that part. Just why conscious connected breathing? Why breath work? To put it in even before the first boom come. Do it as prevention. But if you didn't manage to do it as prevention, do it as the first or second signals that you need support. Because it's a holistic methodology. With conscious connected breathing, we work, the first thing we're gonna work is the body. Because the body is gonna benefit from this oxygenation, from expanding your lungs, from using against your, your, all the channels that, that nature gave you to be able to breathe. And you, how can I tell you how your system really get expanded, alive, vibrating? Next, you're gonna manage your mind, all the mental processes that were hooked by a negative thinking or negative belief or by obsession, obsessive behavior. When you start going more and more into your conscious connected breathing, first you will capture those obsessive behavior and later you will be able, with the help of your, of your breathing or the help of your mentors, to how to transform that and get into the quality that is behind that. Emotionally, you understand, you will understand that all emotions are part of our human kingdom. And it's okay to be angry, to be in pain, to be frustrated, to be in depressive mood. But what's not okay is to get, stay there, being hooked there. You will learn how to ride the spiral of emotion. And spiritually, imagine the joy. Imagine the joy of your spirit when you free yourself from patterns of the past that many of them were built on your perception of life. Imagine how is it when you clear yourself, when you clean yourself and your purpose of life become clearer to you. The path become just there and the ability to ask for help, it become easier and better. And your choices of relationships also, not only the people that live with you, your choices of who you're gonna ask for help, with whom you're gonna work, because there is a big choice that become available to you. It's the choice to love yourself and to live with yourself in a beautiful way. Conscious connected breathing, it connects you with your inner world to be able to manifest who you are in the external world.